Hi everyone, so this is a first lesson, first bridge for all the sequences and series pack. I'm going to try and split it. Ooh, that's a bit wide, but let me change the, the thickness again. Um, I'm going to put these first three in lesson one. Lesson two, probably geometric. Lesson three. And then um, lesson four, it might change, but I'm just kind of going off the consolidation questions with it. Right, so it's quite nice this topic. So there's a little starter question there, which has got all the answers for it. From when you were, you were at GCSE, where you said, oh look, it's going up by three. So I get a three at the front, and then what do I need to add to that number to make it into the first one plus one? So there's all that type of stuff there. And then it talks about the first term, so we're putting n equals 1 in. And the fifth term, putting n equals 5 in. And then the 25th term, putting n equals 25 in. Um, don't know what we've got, so we've got some more stuff there, some more on the start of stuff. You can just kind of copy if you want. So this one, so if you look here, it says, what are the first three terms? So when n is 1, I've got 1 over 2, when n is 2, I've got 4 over 3, when n is 3, I've got 9 over 4. And then I can keep on going 49th term, blah, blah, blah. Oof, and then we've got one going backwards to find the n value, uh, another one going backwards to find the n value, but look at this, I've got a negative number, and because I want... You know, I've got a list of numbers. I can't have the minus fifth position in the list. I've got a justification, which is important, as to why that's a positive. So if you get a chance, copy them down. And maybe I'm going too fast. This one's quite nice. It's a shame this is in the starter, really. So you've got this information, and you create... So you've got this formula, and you create an equation. Right. So n is 3, so you've got 3a plus b, and you get an answer of 5. And then I've got other information here, where if n is 8, I get an answer out of 20. And I can solve them simultaneously. Uh, that's quite a nice, a nice one to do. Maybe we might have a look at those in class, who knows. But. Right, anyway. So it talks about recurrence. Um, so what that means is, I put the first number in, it gives me the second number out. So, put in first number, get second out, put in second number, get the third out, and I just keep on going from there. So it tells me that u1 is 5, so that's my starter, that's my first number. Now if you look, the subscript is its position in the list. So u1 is the first one, u2 is the second one. So if I put in n is 1, so that's telling us that n is 1. So if I use n is 1, I've got u2, is two lots of u1 minus 3. u1 is 5, so u2 is two lots of 5 minus 3 is 7. So then if I set n is 2, I've got u3. So u3 is two lots of u2 minus 3. So u3 is two lots of 7 minus 3. So u3 is 11. Okay, what's the first four terms? So I've got the first one, the second one, the third one. So if n is 3, I've got u4 is 2 lots of u3 minus 3. So u4 is 2 lots of 11 minus 3. 22 take 3, u4 is 18. So my sequence would be 5, 7, 11, and 18. And then there's one for you to have a go at using the same idea. So this one's a little bit more complex. <laughs> it's supposed to be easy questions. 
Would you like a really, really straightforward one? And then the question for you kicks you in the nuts. So this is saying if n is 1, that that position there would be u3. And that's three lots of n is 1, u2 minus u1. So u3 will be three lots of u2, which is 4, minus u1, sorry, which is 2, and minus u1, which is 4. So u3 is going to be 2. <laughs> and then if n is 2, it will work out what u4 is. So u4 is 3 lots of u3 minus u2. u4 is 3 lots of 2, that's u3, isn't it? Minus u2, which is 2. That's going to be 4. <laughs> and if you look, the sequence here is going 4, 2, 4, 2. So I suspect that will just keep on going 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2. <clears throat> right, are you ready? So this is like a little bit of urban theory for us. So when the terms of a sequence are added together, the sum of the terms is called a series. Now we get all kind of caught up between the word series and sequence. Well, you can tell the sequence is just the list, and the series is when we add them. So we write down the list of pluses in between them. You can see that the capital S here, the notation with a little m, is going to work out the sum of it, the first n terms, whereas this one does the sum to infinity, so it adds them all up. And we have another way of showing sum, which is the sigma sign there. So sigma is sum. So if you look at this, this wants the sum of the first five numbers. So it's going from one to five. So it wants the sum of the first five numbers. Yeah. So let's have a look at this example then. So it says a sequence is defined by, so I've got this equation for working out the next one, and I'm starting off with a1. So if I put n is 1 in, that would work out what a2 is. And that's 3 lots of a1 minus 5. So a2 is 3 lots of, so a1 is worth 3, minus 5. So a2 is 4. So I've got that, and then it wants a3 as well. So if I put in n is 2, then the n plus 1 becomes 3, so I've got a3. So it's 3 lots of a2 minus 5. So a3 is 3 lots of this one, 4 minus 5. So a3 is 12 minus 5, it's 7. There, so that's that. <laughs> So then are the values now part B we do part B over here. Part B wants the sum of from R equals one to five A R. So it wants the sum of the first five numbers. So I know that's going to be the 3 that I started off with, the 4 that I got, the 7 that I got, but what I need to do now is work out the others. So just very quickly, because I've only got the first 3 terms, and it wants me to do the first 5 terms, I'm just going to work out what A4 is. So A4 is 3 lots of 7 minus 5, so that's going to be 16, I think, is that right? Got that number right, so 3, 7 is 21, take by 16, and then A5 will be 3 lots of 16 minus 5, which is hard to do on a Wednesday afternoon, so that's going to be 48, take 5 is 43. Then switch back to black. So then I'm going to add on the 16 
and add on the 43. So I'm adding on the, the first. I'm going to run out of time. So the answer is 73.